Cost of living, medical expenses, something we rarely talk about in our cost of living uh, videos that many of us vloggers put out. Uh, and if you're in the Philippines in particular, is what I'm talking about, I'm going to uh, cover some of my experiences here in the last a couple of months and also a little bit about some other experience. I'm also going to put a link to my playlist uh, at the end of this video which go, has a number of videos about uh, medical expenses, dental expenses as well. And I'll start by telling you about my, my experience last uh, a little less than two months as I walk in the rain. Uh, couldn't find a taxi so I ended up walking about 20 minutes to uh, Cebu Doctors Hospital, medical building, medical arts building number two, I believe. First of all, one nice thing about the Philippines is that uh, you can go and see almost any doctor, any specialist without having first to go to a, a clinic to get another general practitioner to refer you to somebody else. If, if you kind of know what type of doctor uh, you want to see, you can uh, go in, you uh, sometimes you can make an appointment, sometimes it's first come first serve type basis. And office calls, consultations usually cost anywhere 500, 600, 700 pesos has been my experience and experience of uh, many of my friends as well, other expats. That is Philippine pesos. Now there is a, uh, a company, a, a country uh, owned, I guess, country owned, one of the agencies here, PhilHealth, that you can sign up for as a foreigner. And uh, even one of the doctors I talked to uh, uh, suggested that, yeah, all foreigners should, should get that. It just depends upon your financial situation. I know a number of foreigners who self-insure. They've got enough in the bank to cover most contingencies. Um, other insurance company, health insurance companies here, uh, and I've talked to a number of them, do not, will not cover anybody, for instance, maybe over 60, 65 years of age. And if they do, they're going to charge you a mighty high price. Anyway, I get back to uh, my story. About two months ago, I had a, I had a dark spot show up on my, on my arm, and I thought, that's, that's odd. It was really dark, a, a change, and, uh, you know, I got sunburned a lot as a kid out, out on the farm, and so I'm more susceptible being light-skinned uh, to skin cancers. Uh, before I came here about eight, nine years ago, I went to see a dermatologist. He froze off, I think, three different, what he called, precancers. And he said, yeah, you should be checked uh, once a year anyway. Well, anyway, it's been eight years, and I decided I better go see a, a dermatologist about this. And so I, I went to uh, the medic, uh, hey, went nice to Cebu umbrella. Doctors Hospital. <laughs> nice umbrella sitting on the top of that guy's head. And uh, asked at the front, and they told me, yeah, medical, medical arts building too. Uh, and I went over there, and the security guard, yeah, go up to... Uh, room 30 something and there's a dermatologist up there and I, I went up there and uh, sat there probably for an hour or so and she was able to fit me in her schedule she had a number of people other people waiting there some with appointments some not with appointments I think and I asked her to uh, check out a number of things while we were looking at that and uh, things on my back that I can't see and she looked at him and she said, well, no, they're, they're not cancerous. Uh, they're not cancerous, uh, but if you want me to laser them off, we can make an appointment. So I did. I made an appointment for about a week later, and that office call was, uh, I think, 700 pesos, about 14 U.S. dollars at 50 pesos to the U.S. dollar. Exchange rate's a little better right now, uh, so actually a little less than that. But anyway, came back a, uh, a week later. Now, I also have a, had a thing on, on my head. It's been there. I think I hit my head on a cabinet or something a year ago and just kind of real small little indentation kind of bugging me and I asked her to look at that and, and she said well we should probably take a biopsy of that not real sure and uh, got the 301 Ramos bar good afternoon. and restaurant good food in there by the, by the way and they've got uh, sports channels running as well well, it came off, and, and I thought she was just going to laser three things off, but as she looked more, she I think she lasered uh, 
about eight different things off. Uh, one on each shoulder, uh, one on my on my chest area, and the rest of them on my back. And they're all healed up now. They're per you can you can still see red spots where she lasered uh, those growths off. As we get older, things grow on us just like trees. <laughs> what one doctor told me once and uh, anyway she says they, they 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 probably won't come back so nice to have those gone anyway she took the biopsy which had to be sent to uh, somebody else which was going to send it to Manila to get it processed took about a month actually to get that back uh, and she had worked in the US for a number of years and she said yeah in the, in the US it would take three days here it takes uh, takes a month. I, I, I talked to a, tell you about another dermatologist, that, that, a surgeon that told me, well, he can get it done in, I think, a week, something like that. And I'll tell you about that doctor a little bit and why I decided to get a second opinion and went, 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 went with the uh, second uh, surgeon as well. Anyway, the cost of the, the lasers, the lasering off of those items, the office call, plus the uh, biopsy thing that they had to send off, cost me, I think, 7,200 pesos. That's 130 U.S. dollars at today's exchange rate of about 55 pesos to the U.S. dollar, or 50 pesos, which is more average over the years, about $144, I believe. And she uh, recommended a surgeon to go in. She wasn't sure if she got it all. So she recommended a surgeon, that's also a cosmetic surgeon, uh, to uh, go in and take out a bigger piece and try to get the rest of it if there's any more there. And so I made an appointment there. They were, I think, up a couple floors and down the hallway, the same building. And uh, so I made an appointment to see them, I think, the following week and went in and he, he took a look at it. and. Uh, they quoted me a price of uh, right around 35,000 pesos. And the day that I was scheduled to do the surgery, which would, be, would have been next week, uh, I had to get a negative antigen test a day or two ahead of time. I had to go to a lab and get a, a bleeding test, a clotting test, and one or two other tests. I think probably would have added another uh, two, three, four thousand uh, to that, so closer to forty thousand probably. So seven hundred to eight hundred U.S. dollars, I guess. I went down to the the first uh, dermatologist that I saw, and I said, "Do you have a another doctor recommendation so I can get a second opinion and uh, cost estimate?" And uh, so she took me down the hallway a ways to another surgeon. And this guy wasn't a, uh, wasn't a cosmetic surgeon, but a surgeon, experienced. And the reason she thought I would need the cosmetic surgeon, she said, I, I think they're going to take a, a big enough piece out of there where they're, they're going to want to patch it. They're going to want to take some skin out of your leg or something and, and, and patch it. But uh, the guy told me, no, I, I asked him that. And he said, no, I'm just going to suture it. I'm just going to sew it up. So I went, and, and uh, so anyway, I went and saw this other doctor and uh, he quoted me approximately 11,000 pesos which sounded a whole lot better and he said he can do the same thing and 11,000 pesos is about 200 US dollars at today's exchange rate of 55 to the dollar or about 220 at, at 50 pesos to US dollar and he could do it uh, in just a couple of days so I said yeah let's let's do it so I uh, uh, they've got a, an outpatient uh, surgery room there in Cebu Doctors Hospital. I went over there a uh, half hour earlier than my appointment, and uh, they got me ready, had me fill out uh, information, and put on a gown and some slippers, and took me into the operating room, and he uh, used some topical anesthetic, some spray, I think, on my head, and then he injected some anesthetic and uh, cut into it and I, I said yeah I, I've got a friend who's had cancer on his hand and they, he said yeah they called him back two other times they, they cut a piece out and then they said we didn't get it all so they cut a little more and they called him back said we didn't get it all they cut some more off I said 
go go wide and wider and deeper and try to get it all the first time. And uh, he did. I, I heard him saying, "Yeah, I want, I want to go a little deeper." And in the end, it wasn't wasn't as big. He showed it to me what he cut out of there, and it, it wasn't nearly as big as what what I thought it was going to be. But I guess he thought uh, that uh, just looking at it, uh, the redness around it, that that was large enough. So that uh, that eleven thousand included the biopsy. And I'm, I will go back. Uh, well, then I had a prescription, too. I've got a prescription for pain, and I haven't had any pain, actually. They put a bandage on it, and I haven't had any pain. I haven't taken any, any pain medication, and uh, I think five days of antibiotics. Now, skin cancer is one of the easiest, probably the easiest cancer, uh, which to handle, take care of, uh, if you catch it early enough, and... Uh, of course, that's, that's what we're hoping. We caught it early enough. Um, and, and, you know, you, you can put things off. I suggest when you come here, if you get sick, I've got a, another friend up here. He's had a, he's, he's had a really sore throat for, uh, gosh, maybe a month. He finally went to a doctor the other day, and uh, he's, his vocal cords are infected somehow. And so we finally got some antibiotics or something for that. So what I suggest, you know, there, there are different bugs, different germs, different climate here than, uh, than what you're used to probably. And uh, foreigners, foreigners can get different types of things. So my advice, unlike, unlike what I do, I, I need to take my own advice. Go to a doctor early if you've got, if you've got an issue. And... Uh, Go to a, get a second opinion if you don't agree with the, if you're not happy with the first opinion as well. It is a bit of a, a mental relief, uh, number one, to have those things lasered off. And uh, they didn't really bother me too much, uh, but it's nice knowing they're gone. It's nice knowing that uh, I'm, I'm taking care of an issue. I could have let it go and go and go, and it would have got worse and worse and worse. And uh, there's a certain point in time where... Uh, I guess they probably say, well, there's nothing we can do for you, son. Go and enjoy the rest of your life. Now, in comparison, the cosmetic surgeon was going to charge me, I think his fee was 15000 uh, This doctor's fee was 5000 The hospital, he was going to, the, the cosmetic surgeon was going to charge me fifteen to 20000 uh, for the use of his operating room, the operating room they have on in that facility. And whereas the hospital operating area charged me six thousand, and the the other the, the the surgeon I used plus the hospital they 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 didn't require any uh, negative antigen test, bleeding test, uh, clotting test, any of these other tests that uh, they they listed that I had to get as well. And as I ha said, you know, I had I had an infection in my leg that started in Los Angeles. Uh, when I first flew here, and I had to see a uh, dermatologist and then a surgeon to get that cut open and, and cut out of, of, my, of my leg. And I did a video about that, what, uh, seven years ago, probably. I've had some dental work here. I've done videos about that. Like I said, I will put a link to that uh, medical and dental and health uh, type videos uh, at the end of this. And... Uh, as well as in the description as well. If you are a short time traveler, you're not long term here in the Philippines or anywhere, you can buy travel insurance that will, will cover quite a number of different things, including evacuating you back to your home country. Uh, so it might be worth checking that out. Um, go to some of the uh, travel news information sites and uh, they've got recommendations. Um, if you if you can self-insure, that is one option. It it uh, you know I've got Medicare in the USA. Of course, I would doesn't cover you outside the country, so I would have to go to Guam, which is uh, you know a few hours plane ride away, or back to the U.S. to use Medicare. And uh, a lot of items like this item, uh, it's easy enough to self-insure up to a certain point anyway. Recently met a guy, a handicapped guy. He, he came here, he had a medical issue and ended up spending, uh, I think, two, 3,000 U.S. dollars in, in, in the hospital right away that he did, had not planned on spending. Anyway, uh, 
you need to think about that. Be, try to be prepared of it with savings, credit cards. I did pay for my bill with a credit card, by the way. Not the doctor, but the hospital took a credit card. Anyway, thanks for watching, and talk to you later.